Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you T-Shark real fast on the Pine Phone, and that is a network sniffer where it can allow you to take a look at some of the apps you're running and seeing what they're sending. First thing we're going to do is disable Wi-Fi, and after you've disabled Wi-Fi, you should just be on the cellular uh, device for data, and then we will start T-Shark. And what we're going to use for this is T-Shark with the I flag and then we're going to have WWAN0 as the interface for it and once we hit enter on that we're going to of course be capturing on WWAN0 uh, first off if you need if you have trouble getting the root shell you're just only going to need to use sudo and then bash and that will throw you a root shell right away so you're going to need a root shell to run this and right now we're capturing on WWAN0 and we have no other apps open so nothing's popping up yet but let's take a look at some of the apps we have and see what kind of packets go over it so first thing I'm going to open is gpotter I'm going to be doing a, a video on that coming up and we're just going to see if anything comes up when we open it of course nothing's coming up now let's open a web browser and see what that looks like on T-Shark as you can see right away it started started throwing us packets back and forth and you can kinda see what they're doing you can get a little better uh, read on some of the internal of the packets if you use some of the other options on T-Shark. So I suggest reading the T-Shark man page and play around with that a bit and see what kind of stuff the different apps are doing. So now we're going to take a look at T-Shark's help and this will give you an idea of all the different options for T-Shark. So we're going to do T-Shark H flag and then we're going to use less to scroll down and it's going to show us all the different options for T-Shark. So as you can see the I flag and then you place the interface we're using WWAN0 for our option here, an example. Uh, there's several different options. You can cancel out certain types of packets that you want to basically filter out. You can stop at a certain amount of seconds, a certain number of packets. You can save it to file. You can format your packets into various different formats. Sometimes people just want text, some people want PCAP files uh, for viewing in Wireshark and other otherwise. So you can use different types of files to add in. There's a lot of options here. So I just wanted to run through that for you guys just to give you an idea of all the different options for T-Shark. But T-Shark's available on PureOS's uh, repository, so you can just do an apt update and a apt install T-Shark, and it should be fairly easy to grab it. To exit out of T-Shark when you're all finished, you're going to do Control. You may need to go over to the terminal layout for keyboard, and then hit Control. And then you're going to do C. It's a traditional control C as you would exit out of things if you were on a standard Linux desktop. So that is what I have today, guys. Just wanted to show you guys T-Shark so you could get a look at one of the sniffer options that are on uh, the Pine Phone. Of course, you got to remember to unselect control, as you can see I did right there. I forgot to unselect. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on the Pine Phone.